guys. So I'm so excited to be filming today. It has been an absolutely crazy month. We've had three trips this month. Uh, the first was to uh, the Smithsonian. Uh, we were there for about four days performing and um, at a conference uh, with our three-year-old. It was not, actually he was not three yet. Then it was his birthday. Then we went to the beach for a week. And then we went up to my in-laws for Thanksgiving. Um, and we were there for four days. So it's been completely nuts. And you guys may have figured out my secret. So my secret, and I hope it doesn't tick people off. Sometimes I'm surprised by what um, annoys people uh, who watch my videos, but I um, actually have my videos scheduled to come out. So when I finish a video and upload it, I don't automatically post it. And my reason for doing that is because I want you guys to have a steady stream of videos. Um, so I tend to uh, schedule three videos a week on Nutty McFreak. There's one a week that goes on my meditation ASMR channel and three or more on my Boxtopia ASMR channel. Um, the Boxtopia just goes out more often because I have uh, so many boxes coming in that I'll get too backed up. And the reason I do that is because when I have months like this, I probably haven't recorded a video in over a week. Um, prior to that, I hadn't recorded one for over a week, so you guys would get very few videos if it was just strictly based on my schedule. And with the way I record, since I have uh, a noisy house and a small child, often I take a nap time or an evening when my husband's away and I'll record three or four videos all in one night. So you would get a whole bunch of videos <laughs> one day and then not get anything for weeks. So I hope that doesn't annoy people. I hope um, you don't mind waiting for them. Uh, it also, for those of you who don't um, go to my meditation ASMR channel, that's sort of my test kitchen for uh, all of my videos that have no video that are just audio so it's that's my audio only channel most of those do go up on Nutty McFreak uh, but if you want them sooner they're on meditation ASMR Boxtopia gets a lot of videos that doesn't that don't go on Nutty McFreak because they're too short or I don't think they're very relaxing all of my boxes uh, all of my unboxing videos go on Boxtopia but they don't all transfer over to Nutty McFreak. So, so a lot of those, the unboxings and the audio only videos are up sooner on those channels. If people hate them or complain about them, I will change them before I put them up on Nutty McFreak, if I plan on putting them up on Nutty McFreak at all. Uh, so that's my little secret. Uh, if, if you have any feedback about that, I would really appreciate it. And then my big announcement is, um, it's kind of amazing how this, what this journey has been like for me. It's almost been like so much of my life has been leading up to what I'm doing right now with the ASMR videos um, and MP3s and things like that. So my, I have narrated my first audiobook and it is up uh, and available on Audible. And this is really exciting for me because about a year ago at this time, I had just started doing ASMR videos and I actually um, had to lobby in DC for something and I was lobbying with someone else in the same field and we were talking and she lives in New York City and we were just sort of talking about our nights and just chatting. We really hit it off. And she says, partially because she lives in the city, but also just because she has insomnia, she 
plugs headphones into her Kindle and she listens to audiobooks all night long um, in order to sleep because it drowns out the noise. And I actually travel with a noisemaker. A uh, noisemaker has really altered my life and my sleeping habits. Makes a huge difference um, in my ability to sleep in places other than my home. I do keep the noise on in my home and maybe it's because it replicates the noise of my home to have uh, this traveling sound machine. But I can completely understand listening to audiobooks to fall asleep. I remember as a child, my grandmother, my grandmother would often be the one who put me down for naps. And uh, as I got a little bit older and my naps were more erratic, we would listen to books on tape because she listened to a lot of books on tape. She started to lose her eyesight. Um, and so she could see all right to get around, but she couldn't read for long periods. And she was an avid reader. So she got um, books for the blind and she had it had this special um, rec uh, per, um, not recorder but a special um, playback machine and she got these very special they were almost like eight track um, audio tapes and she would order her books through the library and they would get sent to her and um, it absolutely changed her life. It allowed her to continue to read um, throughout her whole life. And it, that was something that was very important to her. If she had had to give it up, um, even just because she could only read for short periods of time, it would have been really upsetting to her. So we listened to a lot of audiobooks since I was little, little, even before they became popular. I remember being about four years old and we would climb into her big bed and she would always say, we're gonna warm backs. And as I got older, she told me that we had to warm backs, lay back to back, because I was so squirmy. She was afraid that she would fall asleep and I would climb off the bed um, and go do other stuff. So she said if we were touching backs, she knew that if I tried to get away, she would wake up. Um, so we would warm backs and we would listen to books. We listened to a lot of mysteries. Um, which I, I don't like reading mysteries, but I do like listening to them on audio. I find them really relaxing, especially sort of gothic mysteries. Um, and it also, when I was doing clinical social work on a regular basis, I had a long commute and I found that if I listened to audiobooks, it allowed me to really let all the very stressful work I was doing go before I got home because I had a 45 minute commute. Uh, so audiobooks have been a big part of my life and when I started doing ASMR videos and then I talked to this woman and learned how she uses audiobooks to sleep, I thought wouldn't that be wonderful. I love to read, love to read. I read less now that I have a small child but I do read every night before I fall asleep. Um, and I read during the day, although I read a lot more magazines than I used to just because the, the length of time I have to read is much shorter, so I can't get very involved in a book unless I'm reading right before I go to bed. Um, I actually, around my birthday last year, took a just overnight vacation, and part of it was just to be in a hotel room where I could read. <laughs> I could read uninterrupted uh, for a long period of time. So. Uh, I just thought how wonderful would it be to be able to narrate books for people since it's becoming so popular and since it seems to tie into the insomnia aspect of ASMR as well. I am not a writer. I've never been a writer. I've never enjoyed writing. So as much as I love books, I probably will never contribute that way unless I'm pulled kicking and screaming to, you know, write out meditations or something, which I've done in the past just because I feel like I should, but I really don't enjoy doing that work. Um, I also have several writers in my life. My aunt writes, um, some of my massage clients write, and a lot of them have had difficulty publishing their books. And I have offered to them, and hopefully they will take me up on it, um, to narrate their books. The site I found 
um, makes it really easy for authors and narrators to meet up. And I need to give a big thank you to Marilyn Hughes, who gave me the chance to do this audiobook. Right now, everything I do is royalty share only, so I won't make any money on this uh, if people don't buy it. And that's fine with me because it was a learning exercise. Um, I learned how to record. I actually figured out that the microphone I had been using was not, which is actually this microphone I'm recording on right now, it's fine for videos. It does not cut it for uh, audiobook narration. So it's one of the reasons why I used some of the money that I have made from advertising on these videos and I bought a good microphone. So now you guys get better quality uh, you get better quality audio um, on a lot of my videos and I'm able to do the audiobooks to the quality that they're needed. I also had to learn how to publish um, and master my own narrations so that was a big project for me um, and I actually ended up having to read the um, the book over twice because again the microphone did not cut it for the first time through so then I got my other microphone in the midst of this and I reread it the read the entire thing um, but again it was a wonderful learning exercise and I'm really appreciative to Marilyn the title of the uh, book um, or journal and I will put that in my narr in my description as well is the out of body travel foundation and it's issue number four and it's a menage of wonderful writers. It actually s seemed to fit really well with sort of the spiritual and um, otherworldly aspects of a lot of ASMR videos. Uh, and I found reading it very interesting. These are all, um, Marilyn, res Marilyn is the editor for the journal. There are many copies of this journal, many issues, and I just read this one. But Marilyn responds to a letter at the beginning, and then all the others are from three different writers, and they're really interesting topics, and they're on things that really was new to me, uh, a lot of this, especially because I don't do a lot of spiritual readings, um, and a lot of these are very spiritual. So there's one about love, um, which are concepts that I had just never really heard before about soulmates um, and twin flames and things like that that um, I just was completely unaware of and I thought it was uh, really thought-provoking. And then there's another author who talks about adversity and about death and about um, sort of th that we are in control of our own death more than we think and it was really fascinating um, and I read that through a couple of times and it really got me thinking uh, for quite a long time about that issue and it's something I will probably revisit and think about again because again it, it really uh, whether you agree with it or not um, and I'm not saying that I agree with all of these concepts but they got me to think and that's what I like uh, books to do so it got me to think really about, am I doing what I want to be doing with my life? And uh, I really do feel right now like I'm moving in the direction of what I want to do with my life. Not that I haven't been doing what I want to do, but I'm ready for the next step. Uh, and I think ASMR is a, a big part of that. I think it's something that I really wish I had had ASMR videos when I was growing up. I think it would have radically changed my life. I notice um, on the weeks when I'm so busy that I can't listen to ASMR videos, I am a very different person. I'm much more stressed. I snap more at my family. Uh, it, it really calms me down. It, when I'm working, when I'm doing work that I can actually listen to an ASMR video in the background, uh, I get much more done. I am much more focused and I am much, much less distracted. So. I don't think it's something that is just frivolous that uh, I do because I like doing it. Obviously I like doing it, but also the social work aspect 
Um, I really focused on stress reduction when I did social work and counseling, and I really feel like this would have been a wonderful tool to give my clients with anxiety disorders, uh, and and again, just for myself, and just general stress reduction for everyone. It's such an easy tool to tap into. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, ex you have to have a computer, but most people do nowadays anyway. And um, you're able to have this instant jolt. I mean, it's really very similar to getting a massage for me, but I can do it every day for a couple of hours if I want to. So it's wonderful. Um, and then the audiobooks are just a, really a new direction for me, and I'm hoping it can grow. I've auditioned for a few more audiobooks, and I'm hoping something happens with those. And uh, I will keep you guys posted, and if you're interested, I will put the information in the description to access the Audible. I've also mentioned this before, I've, I'm putting a lot of ASMR um, a lot of the audio from my ASMR into mp3s that are on Amazon and honestly I'm I'm not doing it to make money making money is wonderful I'm not going to pass up on making money but it's more about giving more people access to ASMR and there are a lot of people who don't access YouTube don't know anything about it uh, and there are still a lot of people who go to Amazon looking for, I, I've actually put one out into a CD, even though I think CDs are dying and moving into MP3s, but there are still people out there who are only going to listen to things on CD. Uh, so I'm putting it, I put uh, my Bali meditate, my uh, Bali massage out on CD. And again, it's just to get people who don't watch YouTube to have access to this. Um, if I had not started watching YouTube, I never would have had any idea what ASMR was. And it could have been many, many years before I, I found this tool to help with my stress. The other big announcements I have. So um, I have reached over 200,000 views. Actually, I think I'm at like 200 and 15,000 views on Nadia McCreek. As I've said, I actually have many more than that because anything that I um, unlist or make private, which I have done sometimes so that I could re-upload it in another way um, without a promo or something like that, any of those, many of which have thousands of views, have, are not counted. Uh, I now have over 30,000 views on uh, meditation ASMR, and I'm at I think uh, over 3,000 views on Voxtopia, which I just started, which is really fun. Um, on Nutty McCreek, I have over 1,500 subscribers. And I am so appreciative to all of you. It, it's always amazing to me because, again, doing social work, I worked so hard and probably never reached as many people as I have reached in a year doing ASMR videos. And I really feel like, um, although I did some really, really good work counseling and it was very important to me, I think that the ASMR videos in, in many ways are a much more useful tool um, for a lot of people because they can be accessed so easily and repeatedly and for free. Um, so. I'm, again, I can't thank you enough for everyone who subscribes. Uh, I would love more people to subscribe on the meditation ASMR and give me more feedback. I, I have said this before, but it makes my day, every comment. Uh, I Even the constructive criticism, I love it. You know, I want to get better. I am learning at this. I am trying to improve my videos every day. and. I, I really appreciate all of you who, and I really have a few people who have just been amazing support to me, who uh, have worked with me on videos, who comment on every video I put out, who have supported me since day one, who when I don't get comments from them for a couple of weeks, I worry that something may have happened to them. <laughs> uh, I have one subscriber who very early on was just subscribing to everything I did and then all of a sudden he disappeared and I was like messaging his uh, YouTube account like, are, are you okay? <laughs> 
everything all right because I do I do really feel like you guys are friends and um, I do put out videos for you so uh, I try to cater to what I hear in comments as long as they fit with my style and I feel I can do justice to them uh, so I can't thank people enough for all of the uh, subscriptions, um, subscribers, and the number of views. I mean, with all of my channels, over a quarter of a million views, it's incredible to me. I know there are people out there who have many, many, many more views, but um, again, ASMR is so personal that... The fact that I can have one person comment that I'm their favorite ASM artist um, blows me away because I know I have my favorites and without them I would be crestfallen. When they don't put out videos for a while, um, it, it, it makes me sad <laughs> every day I go onto YouTube and there isn't one from them. So I know the videos I do are not going to be for everyone um, and I do really try to make videos that I would like uh, and I hope you would like them too and if they're not for you they're not for you uh, I'll try and fix them if I can but I think it's also a personal thing so the fact that I have 1500 people who like my videos enough to subscribe um, and have enjoyed the work that I do uh, I am very thankful it's been a wonderful year it's been a little over a year since I started doing this and it has uh, really taken a new mom who is a bit stagnating in her creativity and allowed me an outlet to not only express myself but uh, hopefully help you guys and helping is what I have always done in my life as a counselor, as a massage therapist, um, as a mom, as a wife, <laughs> as a friend. So the fact that uh, I can be of help to that many people with my work is wonderful and I thank you all and I uh, won't stop making videos and they will keep coming out I am scheduled through December so I'm working on January videos now so you guys won't ever go without uh, so if you do notice a little bit of skipping around or me like talking about Thanksgiving with a video that just came out at the end of December you know my secret now that I was making that video <laughs> back around Thanksgiving or I was making that video back on my on this old mic um, and the reason I do use this mic sometimes is, is still I think it's a decent mic it's with my um, it's with my video recorder and uh, I still have some trouble being able to link up the new mic with the video so for some of my more audio intensive videos uh, I will make the effort and use the new mic but on some of these um, especially that are more of a ramble or more video oriented uh, I am using the old mic sometimes so let me know if you're really uh, opposed to that and if the um, if you really feel like the new mic needs to be used all the time. And that was a ridiculously long ramble. Um, thank you to everybody. I will give information about the audiobook if you're interested. MP3s are on Amazon. Uh, I know those of you outside of the country can't order it. I am also going to look into uh, doing a giveaway. I'm not quite sure how it would work yet, but um, I would love to be able to give away a free copy of the audiobook. So I'm going to look into Audible and see if I can do that overseas. My, my big reason for doing that with the audiobook is because I'm hoping it's something that unlike a subscription box or um, something else like that, that it would be easy for me to send to somebody overseas uh, so it's not just limited to people in the U.S. So thanks again and good night.